Hey guys, so today I want to check out iOS 8.3, the Golden Master Edition, running on my iPhone 5. So, let's take a quick little look in settings. Here we have iOS 8.3, and here we have iOS 8.3, 12F70. 12F70, which is the latest and greatest build officially released by Apple so everyone can get it if you want it you can go to your settings software update and install it right from here no UGID registration no developer account it just works right from your device so before you update you might want to know what's new what this update is all about so the Apple watch app is no longer uh, new thing you know it's like already there without 8.2 so this is not about the Apple watch this new update is basically a big bunch of bug fixes like the list is like 50 bullet points long and it fixes everything from message errors to camera errors to Stupid stuff in the calendar to errors happening error. I hate that word error Errors happening all around the system It's basically just a lot of Improvements all around the place and there's also a few new features, but I'm gonna talk about those later Now let's just take a quick look at the smoothness as you can call it you see this is basically what iOS 8 should have been right from the beginning without all of those bugs. It is just so cool. Look at this. There are basically no lags. The only little bit of an issue is when you drag down the notification center, you see it's not as smooth as the control center. Other than that, we also have amazingly new smooth animations look at this so if we open a couple of apps you see even the opening the closing the opening closing phone opening closing messages opening closing 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 it notes you see same stuff applies. It's so smooth. And now multitasking, you see, just this transition is so amazingly smooth. And swiping up, it's great. Like, if you haven't updated, scared of the bugs from iOS 8, this is the time to update. It's definitely worth it now. So what about the new feature? What's new? Like, if I had to say there are three things that are really interested special interesting especially if you are from Denmark the Netherlands India Russia Brazil Sweden Sweden Thailand and Turkey yeah you guessed it it is the new Siri languages so I'm actually from Denmark and I speak Danish so let's give it a shot and see how the new series sounds. You know, she's kind of very, very new. Best of Siri. How do you got? What is it? Okay, that was just do it. Can you show me a picture of a cat? Hvem er Steve Jobs? Okay, so I asked about Steve, and what she did was ask me actually to show me the Wikipedia edition, which Siri normally never does. Like, let's ask the English Siri, and you'll see this. Yeah, just the US one. Who is Steve Jobs? Thanks for asking about Steve. Here's Apple's web page about him. Okay, did you hear that? That is a huge difference. She's way more fluent 
when she speaks English than when she speaks Danish, Dutch, Thai, Swedish, whatever new language. So that's definitely one big fat bug. Or I know they will improve it over time, but it just kind of sucks. But you also see the English version is way more advanced. So just saying, you could do it better, Apple. So that was number one thing, Siri speaking new languages. Next thing are the emojis, new emojis. So if you use emojis a lot, you might enjoy this new scrolling interface with a lot of new emojis. Like now we have gay emojis. I know it sounds kind of wrong, but they are actually gay, those guys. You see two men, two children, two... It's like gay families. And we also have gay couples right there. There. Lesbian couples. Oh my god. This is kind of weird. And, of course, we have colored emojis. So, we now have a big, fat variety of new emojis. And we also got those technical emojis. We have the Apple Watch. We have a f an iPhone, I think it was. We have the iPhone 6 and Apple Watch and the new iMac as new emojis. We also have a lot a big bunch of flags from all over the world and that's kind of cool the only th emoji I'm missing is actually the gold Apple Watch like why can't I choose colors for the Apple Watch I know it's weird but just saying basically all the new faces here has a version in every color possible so that's kind of cool the last thing that is interesting about this new piece of software is the App Store setting. The new App Store setting. So if you go to General, Restrictions, and write your restriction code, this is just mine, you might have to set up your own. We ha can go down to Password Settings, and in here, we will be able to set up how we want to use our password in the App Store. Like, if you prefer to have a password whenever you're gonna pay for something, you can do that now. You can enable always require password when you are downloading, unless it's a free download. How cool is that? Like, that reminds a lot of Android what Android have been doing for years but now it's just on iOS and works great it's amazing like this is cool really cool you can go to the app store find a free app it's easy like let's do this this is free and then you'll be able to press get and install you have to press in your Apple ID and your password before it works here you can do it once in restrictions as I showed you. Let's do it actually. Let's try it. We always require require password like this. Wait a second. Here we go. Require a password with free downloads. No, not now. Now free downloads are free. So let's try get and install. And look at this. It didn't ask for a password. How cool is that? No more passwords every time you download a free app. I love this feature. So that was basically the new iOS 8.3 version that you can get right now it's free and official so go get it if you are interested in updating you might be able to do that you might want to be popular and up to date so go for it and hope you guys enjoyed and peace out